Worcester Academy celebrates more than 175 years of achievement. Originally known as the Worcester County Manual Labor High School, the Academy opened its doors as a school for the education of youth in languages, arts, and sciences, for promoting habits of industry and economy, and for inculcating the principle and piety of virtue. In 1846, the Academy was renamed to its present day name. The name change was due to the nature of the curriculum being offered. Previously, Worcester Academy has been a manual labor high school, but due to the sales of half the land, the curriculum became impossible to implement. Therefore, the change of name to Worcester Academy and the change of curriculum became a herald for a new period in Academy's history. 23 years later, the school moved from its past location downtown to where it is now on Union Hill. Nine buildings make up the Academy. These buildings include Walker Hall, Adams Hall, the Megaron, Daniel's Gym, the Abercrombie House, Dexter Hall, Kingsley Laboratory, Davis Hall, and the Infirmary. Only seven of these original buildings still remain today. Recent contributions to the Academy include Raider Hall and the dorm Stoddard and Dable. In, 18, in 1987, the Academy opened its doors for the middle school. So here we have the Abercrombie House, and it is named after one of the school's most important person in our history. His name is Daniel Webster Abercrombie, and he was one of our principals. He was the um, man who started it all. He was principal from 1882 until 1918, and within the 36 years as principal of Worcester Academy, he created both the historic campus and the culture of Worcester Academy. Even after his works, Worcester Academy kept adding years of achievements and changes within its community. The next building is known as Walker Hall. It was dedicated to Joseph H. Walker in 1890, and Walker Hall is the prominent doorway that has framed the front entrance of the school that has been known for more over than a century. Academy moved to its current location. They moved into a building that was previously there. This building is known as Davis Hall, but it was once called the Dale General Hospital and served as the Civil War Hospital. It remained in honor of Isaiah Davis, who was the first president of Worcester Academy's Board of Trustees, but eventually the building was brought down and now we have two new buildings that house girls and boys. This is Daniel's Gymnasium. It was built in 1915 with a 1983 um, addition to it. So it has two basketball courts. One of the courts was, is actually very recent to Worcester Academy. And we also have a wrestling room, a weight room, male and female locker facilities, and a four lane swimming pool. And with this swimming pool, it, it has not really renovated at all, and it's still in our Worcester Academy's Daniel Gymnasium. So here we have Kingsley Laboratories. It's our three-story brick building and it was built in 1897. So this building um, holds the three departments such as literature, math, and science. And um, the laboratory remains in its original condition. There hasn't been that many changes to it. Um, over time there has been new renovations but not that many. And with the most extensive renovation was in 2008.
So this is Dexter Building and it has always been housing for um, Worcester Academy boys, young men of Worcester Academy. And even to present day, Dexter is known for its dorms um, and mainly it is for the juniors and seniors and PGs, boys of Worcester Academy. Um, girls are not allowed to be housed here um, and never were and never probably will. So. Um, in 1892, the school seal was inscribed on the front entrances of each building of Worcester Academy and it is to represent the Achieve the Honorable sign for Worcester Academy. So the seals that were put on in Dexter's and also in Adams Hall and places all around Worcester Academy, the Achieve the Honorable seal, it was to persuade, um, it's a persuasive sign so that each boy's room in Dexter Hall also had the seal inscribed into the decorated brick of the mantle. So you can see this seal in the Worcester Academy boys dorms. So you can also see it in the front of Dexter, also in the front of Adams, which we'll be going to. So next is the McGrown and Adams Hall built in 1905. It now houses two of the school's dining halls. Stop this progress. Some historical dates would be in 1974 where the school officially became co-ed. In past history, the school did try to be co-ed and managed to be for about 30 years. In the 1870s, the school lived in the South Wing of Davis Hall. After 1880, they were all day students. And in 1890, the executive committee voted to admit no more young ladies. Later in 1974, the girls were able to resume their admission to the academy. 